secret. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Louisiana is known for many things. Rich culture, great food, and unique landscape. But in the fishing world, people come down here for one thing. Big bull redfish. We decided to leave our home waters in Texas, head down to the bayou, and chase these world-class fish. Simply put, we had no idea what we were about to get ourselves into. And as is the case with any DIY trip, it had its ups. <laughs> and it had its downs. <laughs> and maybe we stumbled onto a few fish along the way. This is Running of the Bulls. Alright, as part of this Louisiana series, Zach and I wanted to include a tutorial of the fly that we were using that we are having the most success with. Uh, basically, it's a giant black seducer. I started referring to it as the black mamba because it is deadly on these Louisiana redfish. Uh, if you get it basically close to their head, they're going to eat it. Um, and then it's weighted so it gets right down to their, their face real quickly. Yeah, so anyways, here we go. Alright, so first thing, uh, hook. Um, I'm using these Umqua. I'm probably saying that wrong because I say everything wrong. Two-aught hooks. We were using one-aught hooks uh, on the flies that we tied while we, were, while we were down there, while we were in Louisiana. And we are having a lot of issues with um, the, fishes, the fish actually inhaling the fly. So we weren't getting, they were inhaling it and they were getting, having issues with them getting in the back of their throat. Um, so I'm tying these with a 2 aught in hopes to eliminate a lot of that and, you know, hopefully try to keep some fish alive. So black thread on the hook and we'll go ahead and we're just going to start with our, our thread base layer. Alright, next, uh, take some hard mono. This is just Rio 30 pound hard mono. Take about 2 inches of it. tie a loop to help keep those feathers off of the um, off the hook. Um, it's actually a trick that Zach introduced me to. Um, I was always using just Chanel. So we start with one side. Your hook, your your loop's going to be about like a half inch. So you're basically going to do one side at a time, about half into the hard mono. So we're going to pull out oh, four, four 
four strands of this flash. And then what I like to do is take it, make sure it's about even on both ends, and take this loop. We're gonna take this loop right here. And we're gonna cut that loop. So now we've got basically eight strands, and we're gonna start tying it on. We're gonna do one side at a time. So I like to try to keep it about the same length as the feathers, as the hackable, excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna do one side and just a, just a couple wraps. There's gonna be so much stuff on top of this that it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna be a big deal. It's not perfect. Then we're gonna go to the other side, a couple more wraps.
Alright, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that it's something helpful and useful that you guys can use next time you're headed down to Louisiana. Now, as like a thank you for watching this and thank you for supporting the channel, Zach and I have decided that we are going to give away four of these big seducers. Hopefully, uh, somebody can use them. Whoever gets them can use them next time they're going down to uh, Louisiana. Um, or honestly, I have a feeling that you're going to see them again in the summer when we start chasing Jack from all. Uh, how to win, how to win, how to win. We're going to put a post up tonight on Instagram. Make sure to like that post, tag to your friends, and uh, yeah. I still don't know when we're going to announce the winner. Zach and I are going to work on that uh, with Christmas coming around, coming up right, right around the corner. It's going to make our schedule a little difficult, but as soon as we know, we will announce it. Anyways, hit like, hit subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you guys next week.